compadres there and uh, some of the higher level guys, most of them are totally awake to the uh, the whole FEMA camp and all that kind of good stuff. Well, that's uh, the good you, news, and I'm going to cover it at 40 after, that the power of the states is inherent in the Ninth and Tenth Amendment and is unstoppable if the people breathe life into it. And that's why the feds are trying to come in and federalize not just the uh, state guard, uh, you know, the National Guard that's assigned to the state and the governor, but the state guard itself because they know it is a major remedy. But remember after 9-11, and I have this in my film, uh, Martial Law 911, uh, that I made in 2005, and in the film, uh, we go over all of that information and show state guards all over the country under federal direction running checkpoints in downtown Mobile, Alabama and other places, searching small children, training everyone to be under martial law. So people bought into it for a while, but now there is an awakening. And uh, matter of fact, one of our units uh, here in Mississippi actually were disbanded because they actually came to gunpoint confrontation with FEMA over a sovereignty issue where FEMA was overstepping their bounds. I didn't know and that. Where did that. I mean, I know that sheriffs and happened. others uh, had to throw out FEMA when they were cutting power lines and police communication lines. That's CBS News. But when did this happen? Uh, this happened during Katrina, and I believe, uh, I believe my family member told me it was in Gulfport. And like I said, he's a major, so he's, he's very credible. And, uh, it, you know, guys, it, 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 it's absolutely almost anybody can join a state guard. And having the right people in the right places at the right time, that can make a world of difference on how things pan out for you and me. I and agree. Everybody else out Great solutions, Chris. We're going to elaborate on that coming up. Uh, let's talk to Kevin in Alabama. Kevin, you're on the air. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Alex Jones, and thank you for all your great work. I had uh, called you yesterday evening or at least uh, your news line, to let you know about the Reuters uh, release of uh, Matt Simmons being killed, uh, which uh, they, can, they can disapprove it, but uh, I, I think it's certainly what happened because uh, he spoke out about the oil gusher out there in the Gulf. That's right. Here's the headline. Uh, BP critic Matt Simmons found dead in a swimming pool, famous for his controversial criticism of BP and calls for full disclosure regarding its true nature. The oil disaster in the Gulf is dead. Uh, WLBZ, the Knox County Sheriff's Department, says Matthew Simmons, uh, founder of the Ocean Energy Institute, drowned at his home on North Haven late Sunday night. Simmons was a leading investment banker for the energy industry and had recently retired to work full time on the new Ocean Energy Institute. He was a leading proponent of offshore and wind power and sort of raising money to develop and build offshore uh, turbines. And, and now we have former Senator Ted Stevens believed dead, along with the former head of NASA, Sean O'Keefe, in a plane crash. That happened uh, today. Yes, sir. And uh, you, you're covering the things that are pertinent. This country is being taken over. It, it, it's very simple. Anybody who can't see it, it will better wake up. And I try to spread the fact that this is a place to come to get the truth. And you're not going to get it from NBC, CBS, or CNN. I've tried to talk to my family about it, and they think I'm crazy. And uh, I have somebody close to me who just sold their, their military company. And uh, I wonder why. And they did very well, but I wonder why. But what's going on out there in the Gulf? It was supposed to be, so he said, three miles from the original site. There was fractures in the in the. Oh well, that's admitted. I mean, it's a hoax that they fixed the oil well. It's leaking twenty miles away, and uh, they just tell you everything's fine. Exactly, and 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 the most ludicrous thing about it, if we're talking poisons here. Uh, we can put uh, bisphenol A aside for a second. How about them telling me, it's okay. Y'all going out there and fish? Let's get the fishing going, and y'all start eating the fish. Now, I'm sorry for those fishermen, uh, commercial and so on and so forth, but uh, dispersants and uh, 
these fish and stuff are polluted with it. Well, I mean, the bigger and fish, whether it's a flounder or a mahi-mahi or a swordfish, they eat smaller fish, and then it precipitates those chemicals out in them, and then we eat them, and we get a mega dose of poison. But the government now says core exit's good for you. It was good for the folks that cleaned up Exxon Valdez. They only lived to 51. Nine years, thousands of clients worldwide, amazing results. And here's more proof of the effectiveness of how heart and body extract supports good circulation and healthy arterial flow. My name is Crystal. I'm a 45-year-old and live in Houston, Texas. I was diagnosed with having mitral valve prolapse 10 years ago. My cardiologist said surgery and drugs was the only thing he could offer me. What did Crystal do? I ordered heart and body extract in August 2006. When I first took my first 15 drops, I embraced the formula and could even feel the goodness of the formula starting to work. Clean, clear arteries are happy arteries after using heart and body extract. Learn more at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. That's hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. HB extract comes with a 100% ironclad money back guarantee. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305 for heart and body extract. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realist, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. They help to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. When you hear the words water purification, what comes to mind? If it's Berkey Water Purification Systems, this message is for you. Did you know that over 60% of municipal water contains fluoride? Add less than two cents per gallon. Berkey Water Filters purify treated and untreated water, remove dangerous chlorine, fluoride, and contaminants from municipal water. These filters are powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water, making them perfect for rainwater collection systems. From the smallest to the largest systems, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has what you need. With your system purchase, you'll receive a shower filter, a fluoride filter, or two sport Berkey bottles absolutely free. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com would like to offer GCN listeners 5% off all ceramic filter systems and ship all orders over $50 free of charge. Visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY today. Okay, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to your phone calls. Ray in Texas disagrees. We'll go to the head of the line. Ray, you're on the air. Hey, uh, uh, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right. All right. Hey, uh, I uh, thank you for doing a lot of the stuff you did on fluoridation, the 9-11 thing, and the vaccines. But i got to disagree with you on global warming uh, and uh, your stance on socialism as well. No. Okay, well... I mean, uh, it, socialism's great, isn't it? All the big banks always finance it because it's a way to rob the little guy. And, uh, you know, you're talking about, uh, I mean, I don't know what I can say to you. I'm only going to say one thing about socialism because I want to move on to global warming. If you're expecting the capitalists, the bankers, and uh, other industrialists, the vaccine companies, pharmaceutical companies to play nice, you're asking for socialism. And uh, the only person who started giving us that was Franklin Roosevelt. And we don't have him no more. I wish we could dig him up and prop him back up. All right, let me break this down. Let me break this down. You have to have a small government, but you have to have an informed population. These big corporations always lobby for more government to use it as a tool to rob us. We need to have state governments that prosecute people for putting poison in the food. We need to have local control, not a big federal government okay be it as it may i'll uh, i'll uh, move on to global warming uh it was back in the 80s when british scientist james burke aired a uh, show on global warming that i happened to catch uh, oh no somewhere between 1980 and 85 or so then in the 2000s i saw on an, on an internet article in the boston globe that it said that the oil and the coal industry are spending hundreds of millions of dollars a year on a global warming disinformation campaign, uh, and they're getting people to say what they want to say. I can't help but feel that you're one of those people that they're paying. Uh, I mean, you may not be, but I... I Boy, that is an outrageous, outrageous statement uh, for you to make. Uh, You know, to, to come on my show and say, I'm being paid. I'm not paid one red cent to sit here on the air and say that I don't believe in man-made global warming. Sir, we've had 14 times higher carbon dioxide in the geological record. Plants in every study grow faster, are more healthy, put off more oxygen than animals and humans have higher levels of oxygen. I mean, whether you believe in carbon dioxide being bad or not, having globalism and cutting our carbon footprint in the U.S. and Europe will only move our jobs to China and India and Mexico where they won't have the carbon taxes, and it will boost the amount of carbon dioxide. But, I mean, that's just like when I had the Rockefeller, I mean, the Rothschild air on, he just said, well, you must be funded by the oil companies. It's actually British Petroleum, Exxon Mobil, and others are the biggest funders of the carbon tax. It was Ken Lay of Enron and BP on record in 95 and 96 that developed the plan with Bill Clinton and Al Gore. Now, I just gave you facts, and it's the big oil companies now pushing the carbon tax because they're owned by the big banks. They want that to be the funding mechanism for their new global uh, banking system. And, And that's all on record. And you just call in, and as a throwaway line, say, I read a Boston Globe article a decade ago that says they were funding this. And there, I have read where some smaller oil companies, to protect themselves so they don't get shaken down and can still drill, have fought against carbon taxes. But they've all caved in. But the big ones have always been for it. I mean, that's an amazing statement. I mean, you're saying I have no integrity and you have no proof as well. And that, and that I just get up here and I'm paid by oil companies. Instead of debating me on science, you just... Uh, you know, throw that out there, which completely discredits you. Can I say one last thing, please? Well, hold on so just a minute. Hold on. You need to respond. Do you have any evidence I'm paid by oil companies? Wait, go up to GaryNull.com and look at the truth behind the climate Hey, science. I'm putting you on hold. I put people that disagree to the head of the line. And when you get up here on my show and say that you think I'm taking money from oil companies... When all I do is expose how corrupt they are and how they're globalist, I give you evidence that the big five oil companies in the last 15 years plus, AP in 2002 sued and got thousands of pages of documents where the big, in that case it was the top 10 oil companies, got together and said we want to use environmentalist groups to shut down 
refineries so there's a bottleneck so that we can jack up prices because there's too much oil. Now, I'm going to come back to you, Ray, and I'm going to give you a chance again to give me your proof that I'm paid by the oil companies. Okay.